So can you share how you came to understand the role of creativity in relation to our sense of belonging as humans? Yeah. Well, I think our creativity is intrinsically part of our humanity. You know, our ability to create and create in all forms, both create technology, create art. They're very intertwined. Um, and so what makes us belong to the human race is also our ability to create and is a fundamental, I believe, basic need for human being to create. And the action of creation also helps us make sense of our world. Um, I know that for a long time, I didn't have very much of a sense of belonging to more traditional sense of belonging, belonging to a national identity. And I would often go into a quest of like, how am I belonging to all of human race? Um, and, and I think that profound desire to make, to create is so strong in us. You see it also in children, how they play and, and play and creativity goes together. You know, they're not separate because it's an action of enjoying doing something just for the sake of doing it. Um, our curiosity, our curiosity to understand and find out about this world we live in and who we are as human being. So, and also when you create with others, you know, that is that you create a song or play in a theater play uh, or create you know, artwork, but also creation can be creating a house, creating a tool. There's a coming together in using and bringing our ingenuity together. And it, it creates a strong bonding when you do that process with others. Um, and when you have that moment of playfulness and creativity with others, you sense a strong sense of belonging with others. And Currently, I sense that creativity um, often can be lost in the to not just be as purely it's like create, do something. Uh, oh, you need to be paid, or or like that's the kind of more adult and rational. Or the the creativity can also take very cold form, a mental form, rather than being anchored in reality. So I'm also particularly interested in helping people develop their creativity as a way to really connect with themselves, as a way to also really connect with their humanity. Um, so that's it. Okay. And so in relation to play, how does play sit in, in relationship to the second Renaissance? Because sometimes I feel like people can assume play is pointless or um, something that is child's play. So in relation to the conversations we have around the, sec the Second Renaissance, how does this fit together? Well, what is the role? I guess what you're asking is what is the role of play in the co new coming future that is about to be born? Mm -hmm. um, Well, life is full of accidents. <laughs> Some of the greatest creation prob might be from accidents. Um, and, and in a way, so, so maybe for me, play, there's we get out of the uh, structure of wanting to try to get something right. Uh, and we're more in the dialogue with the present moment, with what is reality right in front of us. And for me, a dimension of 
the prequel to the second renaissance is to be quite grounded in reality as it is versus what may be distorted when we talk of utopia utopia is can feel like an illusion or disconnected but and life itself, we like to call ourselves pragmatic utopians, being grounded in reality. And for that, you got to play with reality as it is, not as you'd like it to be. And actually, reality offers many, many infinite possibilities. Um, and the, the playfulness is also allowing life and life itself to come in. Sometimes if we get too um, closed in our ideas, we don't allow the surprise of life to come in and we can only see what our mind wants to see versus many of the gifts life wants to give us to help us fulfill on what our heart calls us. So I think our ability to play is really crucial because in play, is a dance, is a joy, and it's a dance and a joy with reality and with others. So it's the there's a, a huge importance in relation to that interaction with another person or another group of people. Yes, and I I, I would call it reality because it's not just a person or a group, it's like you know, like when you create, it's like, it could be the light, it could be the wind, it could be the insect or the earth or the fire, like what is right here right now, or with your emotion, your inner state. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's anchored in the present moment. That's really beautiful. Thank you. And why do you, well, maybe not why, do you do you feel that there is a resistance to individuals being anchored in the present moment? So, well, I think there's a longing to and a loss of being in the present moment. So I can only, I will give us a, a little story. Recently, uh, I was I went to visit a museum in Bordeaux, which is the Museum of Nouvelle Aquitaine, and it showed you the arc of like the prehistoric man that was in the region of the Aquitaine all the way to the modern man. And it was really fascinating to see the artifacts and the tools and the uh, engravings and paintings these men did. Um, and you sense like such a presence that they had with reality and the present moment, such mindfulness in the way that their tools were crafted, um, like something very meditative for them to get that Silex to be at such an angle. It was an accidental. And as men or so, there was also not a lot of distraction, you know, contemporary men suffer from their great gifts, which I have the gift of technologies that I kept inventing, but also give me so many distraction from right here, right now. And so I think it's a lot harder for the contemporary man to be in the present moment and, you know, cultivate nirvana than it has been for men's of previous epoch uh, because we've built ourselves our magnificent prisons uh, of distractions and illusions uh, and yes so I don't it's it, it's a I think it's a tradition it's a um, Yes, I do. Like, so my answer to your question, is it harder or is it hard? Or is there a resistance? I'm not sure that it's specifically a resistance. The, the condition, the circumstance of the modern man makes it very difficult for the modern man to be very present. And so in a way requires even more willpower for the modern man to practice and be present. Mm. 